Hi guys, it's Nancy. Uh, this is going to be a really quick video. I usually film with my iPad, but the space is running out on it and I don't feel like paying for additional space. So I switched to my Microsoft Surface, which has the external storage. Um, so we're trying it out. So let me know if you notice any kind of difference. Um, it's set up the same way, so it should be just as good quality, I hope. And I'm also hoping it'll upload a little quicker on YouTube. But anyway, I digress. Um, in one of my haul videos, I had shown my inventory book and someone had asked a question of, you know, what I do. This by no means is a great inventory book. I could have done a better job, but I've had this book in my possession for, uh, I want to say the last seven or eight years. And it just helps me when I go to craft shows or go to the store, not to buy duplicates of something that I already have. Now, one of the tips that I have is I have a little, you know, piece of paper on the side of my desk when I know that I'm going to go to a show and I write down what I'm looking for, what I need, if there's a certain theme item I'm looking for, you know, or certain papers that I saw or stamps that I, I need, I usually take a shopping list with me. That'll help you, hopefully, from spending too much or going overboard, but most importantly is your inventory, so... This is what I started with in my inks, and all I did was I just, I took a stamp, and I stamped the colors and wrote the names down, and then anytime I added a color, um, I would put it in here. Now here, I didn't clean my stamp so well. I think that was the dove gray, and it got mixed in with one of the blues, so that's why it's crossed out. Um, it's my sprays, I didn't want to spray them in here, so I just listed them by name, what I have, um, what kind of molding paste I have. So it's just a list. And then here were my distress inks. And then here was a little splotch of alcohol inks. Here were some of the birthday stamps that I had. And at that time I had stamped them in my pigment colors. So I knew what stamp it was and what color pigment inks I had. Um, and so on. Now I will tell you, I have fallen behind with my stamps. I started to take pictures of my stamps and put those in here. Um, then what happened was I just have way too many stamps. So I do need to find a new way of doing it. I am um, trying the, I think it's called Evernote or something like that, where you take a picture and save it. But I am way behind on my stamps. But as far as inks and markers go, those are a lot easier for me now because what I do is I print out the swatches. Now I think... Jennifer McGuire has a link on her page, but here are, this is the real reason why I take the book. Here are my Copic markers. Now we all know Copic markers are not cheap. They range from $3 on up, depending on what kind um, you get. I did find them at this show for $3.99 a marker, and I usually buy, um, you know, four or five at a time when I go. But what I do is I stand in front of the, the kiosk there and look at the numbers of what I have and what I don't have. And then I also have the Spectrum Noir, same thing. Um, recently, one of the web pages, I think it was Consumer Crafts, don't quote me on that, had the Spectrum Noir quit kits for $5. So I did buy a couple of those. So I wrote down what I have, what I ordered and what I still need. And then when the kits came in, I filled in my chart here. And I have these two pages um, next to each other. So that way I know I don't want to buy overlapping colors. I know they're different brands, but if you're new to Copics and you're new to alcohol markers, you don't want to invest way too much money. So if I know I have a lot of grays over here, then I may not buy so many grays over here. Um... That's about it. And then my daughter scribbles in the book. If there's something like a shopping list I'm looking for, I'll put that in here. I started taking my stencils and stenciling those in here. Um, so I know and these are mostly Tim Holtz stencils, what I have. So I don't buy the same ones over again. But it's just a, a notebook that you can purchase anywhere and just put your notes in there. There's some samples of punches. Now I have moved away from my inks in here to an ink swatch system. Um... I know Jennifer McGuire uses um, coin holders, I believe. These are old scrapbook pockets. I don't even remember where they came from. Maybe they're business card pockets. But I found this in my stash, and all I did is I stamp out the color, 
and then I put the little square in there. So I can add pages, remove pages. Obviously this needs to be cleaned up a little bit because it got a little messy here, but I know what colors I have in stock. So again, I don't go and buy duplicates. Now here's a swatch that I got from Jennifer McGuire and this is the distress inks. So I just went through and stamped the distress inks and then I just stuck it in here. So I know what I have. Now I'm gonna have to do a new one for the oxide inks because they just came out. Um, here's some neon inks. And then here are my pigment inks. But that's so I don't buy duplicates. And if I have a refill for a color, and I will be honest with you guys, I only just starting started to buy refills. I will mark R next to it for refills. I normally don't buy refills for my inks. And I have been doing scrapbooking and stamping for... Um, scrapbooking for well over 15 years and stamping only in the last four years. But I can say that I've probably only re-inked black and that would be VersaFine and VersaMark. Very rarely do I find that I am re-inking my stamps. Maybe it's because I buy um, dye inks. Um, I don't really use too many pigment inks, but my pigment inks are very, very old and have never been <laughs> re-inked. Um, but I'd make a mark if you're a type of person that likes to buy reinkers or use reinkers for other techniques. I know a lot of people do watercoloring with them. They use them to make spritzes. There are a lot of things you can do with reinkers. I just don't do a lot with my reinkers, so I don't buy them. Um, but this is my little swatch. And then I just, like I said, I take here, I did my, um, sparkle and sprinkle embossing powder. So again, I just stamped out, um, what the embossing powder was. And then um, sprinkled it on and heat set it. And I did one at a time so that I wouldn't mix any of the colors while it was going on. Um, so that's, that is my thing. Now, this week I went to the show and I hadn't updated the book, but I knew what I had bought at the Delaware show a couple weeks ago. So I wrote down what I got at the Delaware show so that when I went to the Allentown show, I didn't rebuy but I will need to swatch these new ink colors and enamel accents and um, nouveau drops and things like that so there you have it guys that's how I organize what I have so I don't buy duplicates I hope my new camera setup works and if you have any questions give me a call oh yeah give me a call that'd be great just give me a comment I wouldn't mind phone calls I'm not doing much these days thanks for watching guys and keep on stamping